Imagine a disease so terrifying it inspired our darkest myths. Tales of men turning mad and creatures thirsting for blood. For centuries, humans have feared and mythologized rabies. It's crept into stories and cinema, and even given us old sayings like hair of the dog. But behind the myth lies a real killer, ancient, adaptable, and devastating. The rabies virus began in bats, co-evolving with mammals over millions of years. At some point, it jumped into land carnivores and adapted to sustain transmission in several reservoir species, like foxes, skunks, mongooses, raccoons, and dogs. But rabies is unique in that it can infect and kill any mammal, farm animals, wildlife, and of course, people. The course of infection is remarkably similar across species. It begins with a bite from an infected animal, most commonly in people originating from a rabid dog. The virus enters the body through the animal's saliva in a bite wound, or if saliva contacts the eyes, mouth, or scratches in the skin. From there, the tiny rabies virus particles pass into the nerve cells and hitch a ride on the nerve's internal transport mechanism towards the brain. During its stealthy journey inside the nerve, the virus remains completely invisible to the host immune system. This incubation period can be as short as five days or stretch to several months and sometimes even years. During this time, the person or animal is not showing any signs of rabies and is not infectious. When it finally reaches the brain, the virus multiplies rapidly, spreading throughout the brain and beyond, causing neurological dysfunction, changes in behavior, and the unmistakable signs of rabies. At this stage, there is no effective treatment. The fatality rate is virtually 100% within 10 days of symptoms beginning. For centuries, this inevitable death made rabies one of the most feared diseases in the world, and the focus of early vaccine science, leading to the first laboratory-created vaccine in the 1800s. Today, prevention remains the key. Immediate washing of the bite wound with soap and water for 15 minutes, followed by a complete course of post-exposure vaccine is life-saving. Each year, more than 3 million people survive rabies exposure thanks to this treatment. But every one of those exposures begins with the same source, the virus circulating among dogs that live side by side with people. The rate of rabies transmission between dogs is relatively low, with each rabid dog on average infecting just one or two others before it dies. Those newly infected dogs incubate the virus for weeks or months before showing signs and passing it on. This cycle repeats, creating a slow-moving epidemic. Occasionally, rabid animals make headlines and then vanish from sight, giving the illusion that the problem has faded, only for it to flare up elsewhere months later. The long incubation period and slow transmission rate allow rabies to linger quietly for decades. It's only when effective veterinary surveillance systems are in place, investigating and testing suspect animals, that the true scale of the problem becomes clear. And yet, the very characteristics that have allowed rabies to persist for centuries also reveal its weakness. Because the virus spreads so slowly, vaccinating just 40% of dogs can break transmission and drive the disease towards elimination. However, maintaining that 40% coverage is the challenge. Between annual vaccination campaigns, vaccinated dogs die and unvaccinated puppies are born, causing vaccination coverage to fall below the critical threshold and allowing the virus to survive. And that's why the World Health Organization and World Organization for Animal Health recommend aiming for 70% vaccination coverage during campaigns. This higher level ensures protection stays above that critical threshold throughout the year, pushing rabies steadily towards elimination and breaking that cycle of transmission. Within just a few years of consistent effort, the disease can disappear from entire regions. For thousands of years, rabies has haunted both animals and humans, a silent killer woven through our shared history. 
But today, for the first time, we have the knowledge, tools and partnerships to end it. At Mission Rabies, we work alongside governments worldwide to turn that goal into reality. Developing solutions, data systems and scalable strategies to help countries deliver cost-effective mass dog vaccination programs that work. Each vaccinated dog breaks a link in the chain of transmission. Each campaign saves lives. Dog Rabies has followed humanity since the earliest stories we told, but it doesn't have to follow us into the future. Ours can be the generation that finally puts a stop to this terrible disease for good. Visit missionrabies.com today to see how you can make a difference.